Hey guys, this is Martin and welcome to our new mini-series. This new mini-series is about the most useful tools in penetration testing <clears throat> and in bug bounty hunting. And today I'm going to show you something called the sec lists. Um, you may or may not heard of this particular GitHub repo, but basically let's check it out, right? Like so the sec lists, as the, as the name kind of suggests, is like a huge repository for most common like payloads right like for example you have like web shells in here and then you can go to php and then you have like ready to go web shells okay so you still need to customize them obviously so you need to have, take a look at the code and things like that but where it's really powerful like this whole set list is for example when it comes like to usernames and passwords and stuff like that right like for example the top usernames being used um the top SQL passwords being used and things like that, right? Like, um, the, uh, also like when you when you for example come in here, and then you can you can actually take a look like Wi-Fi WPA for example, and then you have like the top WPA passphrases, right, which are being used. So when, whenever you think about brute forcing or you need some ideas for for credentials then uh, Seclist is really like the place to go, right? Like it's really, really powerful. Um, some of these repos are quite old. Um, some of them, like then you have like cracked hashes or something like this, right? Like for example, a dictionary with cracked hashes. Some of these take really long to open because they're quite large. But then basically, um, if you manage to to get a hash somewhere like in, in, in uh, a Windows hash or something like that, like this. Um, basically, you can just come over, compare it. Um, it has a ton for for web um, vulnerabilities as well. So let me just show you something something else real quick. So for example, if you go to discovery, so th this is very where, where it's really useful web content, like especially when you're doing web. Um, penetration testing and, and stuff like that, then um, this is this is like the page you really want to check out, right? Like for example, uh, Oracle EBS word lists and things like that. And what, what I find quite useful is that they have this in different languages as well, right? Like, so for example, if you have a penetration testing uh, engagement in Italy or something, then you obviously are dealing with the Italian language. And so you wouldn't get any much further with 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 an, an English word list and things like that, right? Like, so um, it's useful for GraphQL, for example. Like, if you do GraphQL testing, like, see, like these are like the common API endpoints and stuff like that. Um, like how it's typically looking out in the wild. Like, if you're trying to to find or do asset discovery, Burp has inbuilt tools, right? But but you can actually download the repo and then use it from within Burp and. Um, it gives you a lot of ideas. I mean, to be honest with you, like I had moderate success with it. Like I find it useful in certain scenarios, but nothing really beats your custom word list, right? Like you should always create your word list um, where you basically take out all the parameter names and the parameter values and things like that and really do a bit of out of the box thinking, right? Like don't just fire payloads against it. But especially for asset discovery, I find it extremely useful, right? Like, and there's like the raft word lists and things like that. And it's, it's certainly useful. It has its place. It's, it's, it's all free. Like here, extensions and things like that. that are typically, that typical directories and things like that, right? Like, so if you, if you're dealing with a web application and if you want to see like what kind of directories are out there. So this is like, again, like a large brute force brute forcible list you see how many like thousands and thousands of entries like it's 60,000 um, here but it's certainly useful and I just wanted to show you this like sec list is should certainly be in your security arsenal okay that's it for today have a good day